In this Python tutorial, you will learn how to create your own public API service. First of all, I will create a local API service using the Flask library. Afterwards, I will make the API service I created public using the ngrok library. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will create a virtual environment. While developing a project, we may encounter errors for many reasons. By setting up a virtual environment, we can solve most of these errors without encountering them. I open a command prompt. You can create a virtual environment using this code. The last part of the code represents the name of the virtual environment. A folder with the specified name has been created. I move the main code file to the folder created for the virtual environment. I need some libraries to do the project. I can use the pip install command to transfer these libraries. I need to activate the activate.bat file for the command to run in the virtual environment. First I go to the venv API file. Afterwards, I activate activate.bat in the scripts folder. If you see this part, you have done all the steps correctly. I can now run pip install commands in the venv API file. First, I transfer the Flask library. I will create a local API service using the Flask library. Afterwards, I will make the API service I created public using the ngrok library. I can also transfer the ngrok library with this code. I am importing the Flask library. I create a variable named app and assign it to the flask function. Then I create a root for the get request. I define a function just below. When a request comes to the specified root, it will activate the function below. I create a data set in the function. Then I return the data set. In summary, when this route is active, the following function will be called. Finally, I activate the API service locally. I define 7777 as the receiving port. I run the program to activate the local API service. You can go to this address using any browser. API service is currently active. However, this service only works on local computers. It is not a web service open to the public internet. Now let's make this API service public using the ngrok service. I go to the ngrok site. You can log in after registering on the site. Since I have registered before, I directly click on the login button. I will share the link of the site with you in the description section of the video. Go to the setup and installation section. In order to use the ngrok service, we need to run the auth token command. This command will add the necessary files to your project file. I will run this command in a command input console. But first, Check that your API service is active locally. If the service is not active locally, it will not be able to open to the public internet. I'm running the auth token code. The download process will be completed shortly. Added the ngrok.yml file to the specified path. Now I can activate the ngrok service. You can activate the ngrok service with this command. 
a website was printed to the console. Your local API service has been made public. You can try to send a request to this website from a device that is not local. The service is currently active. In this Python tutorial, we learned how to create your own public API service. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.